Hi guys, so this is Andrea and welcome to another episode on AF Smooth Tutorials. In this video, I will briefly explain you how to create a custom navigation bar in your Swift project. So first, let's start from our view controller and create an extension for our view controller. Then I will create a function make navigation bar that returns UI view. Inside of this function, I will add an image logo that should be on the left side of our navigation bar and a spacer that will be aligning our items to the left. For the image, I'm getting it from a SF symbols. So now we have an image logo, so I will add a spacer. All right, here we haven't returned our image view. Just like that and initialize a lazy bar. And the last one, we will embed our spacer and logo image view inside of a stack view. And we are adding our arrange sub view, so stack view add arrange sub view, logo image view. And also we're adding a spacer and return our stack view. So that's it with the navigation bar creation. Now we need to add it to the navigation item. So I will create another function. And I'm returning capitalized self in order to be able to use our view controller after calling our add navigation bar function. And in order to add our navigation bar to navigation item, we call title view and assign it our navigation bar that we have customly created and we need to return self. I'll add another extension to facilitate creating our view controller from code using main storyboard. All right, so that's it with our code. And now we need to switch to a custom creation of a view controller. So we need to go back to project and in main interface, we need to delete main. And also we need to switch to info.p list, expand our items and delete storyboard name key. Hit minus. And now we can switch to scene delegate and assemble our view from code. And now we can use our customly created instantiate function with a storyboard name called main. And for window, we are assigning root view controller, but in order to add our custom navigation bar, we need to embed it inside of UI navigation controller. View controller and call our add navigation bar item. UI navigation control, 
UI navigation controller waits for UI view controller. And that's why our UI navigation bar function returns capitalized self, which is for view controller, uh, UI view controller. And we're returning it after adding a, a navigation bar that we have customly added to a view controller. And for window, we make it key and visible. And assign it to a global window variable. Okay, now we can run our project. And here you can see on the left side our icon and our navigation bar that we have customly created is has a gray background. So that's it with a custom UI navigation bar creation. If you find this video interesting, give it a like, consider subscribing to this channel, and I will see you next episode. Thank you for watching and goodbye.